Welcome to this edition of Project America TV and as the title states this is about GMOs. Um, a lot of people, a lot of talk about this right now. A lot of people, uh, Dr. Oz just did a show on it. Larry King did a show on it. Um, I just got back from my local newspaper where I did an interview on uh, my standpoint on GMOs and my input on it. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't understand it. Uh, there's, you know, like anything when you're in this day and age of social media, you get all this stuff on Facebook and, you know, Instagram and Twitter, and it's hard to really, um, you know, know what is the truth, what's not. Um, so I have some information here I think will be helpful, uh, which comes straight from the uh, government, straight from the FDA. Um, if you have any questions on this stuff, then utilize those sites, the, the FDA site, the USDA, the EPA, you can find all this information if you just go type in GMO or um, an easy one to get a lot of results on is put in uh, BT toxin and that will pull up a lot of Monsanto's corn, corn products. Um, but anyways, uh, one of the reasons I, I was talking to the newspaper today is our little small town's farmer's market is going to require GMO labeling this year and there's going to be a meeting on it coming up. Uh, so naturally I'm going to attend that, but we're actually starting to see some labeling because that's been a big issue is why isn't it labeled? And that just comes down to one thing, dollars, okay? These gigantic corporations in big agriculture, they don't want you to know this stuff, okay? And sadly, as a society, we don't even care. I mean, people don't even question that the list of ingredients on a bag of Doritos is this long and you can't pronounce half of them. Once you get past the first few ingredients, you can't pronounce the rest. But the, all the ingredients in the beginning probably contain some GMO product that's killing you. And it's sad that we as a society, as a people, as a human race, we don't care what we eat. It's absolutely ridiculous. So let's get to it so this is not too, too long. Now, like I said, this is right from the FDA's website, and I'll try to put links to everything I talk about, everything I have printed out uh, in the description, so you can go check it for yourself. I'm going to read some of this word for word. I'll try not to make this too long. Uh, but basically, this is um, for this was um, for consumers, consumer updates, the FDA's role in regulating safety of GE foods. GE foods means genetically engineered or GMO the genetically modified organisms. And it goes on, to, it starts saying, um, foods, from genetically foods from genetically engineered organisms, also known as biotech foods, and referred to by some as food from genetically modified organisms, have been in our food supply for 20 years. Okay, and think of how s much sicker we have gotten since 20 years ago. Um, Genetic engineering refers to certain methods that scientists use to introduce new traits or characteristics to an organism. For example, plants may be genetically engineered to produce char characteristics that enhance growth or nutritional value of food crops. Since people have been modifying plants for thousands of years through breeding and selection, FDA uses the term genetically engineered or GE to distinguish plants that have been modified using modern biotechnology from those modified through traditional breeding. Very important, hybrid plants, they're not the same thing as GMO plants. Um, and the sad thing at, in that opening statement is it talks about uh, enhancing the char characteristics for growth and nutritional value, which is crap, utter crap. They've actually killed the nutritional value in this stuff. Um, the FDA re uh, regulates foods from genetically engineered crops in conjunction with the USDA and the EPA. Uh, USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service is responsible for protecting agriculture from pests and disease, including making sure that all new GE plant varieties pose no pest pest risks to other plants. EPA regulates pesticides, including those bioengineered into foods, to make sure the pesticides are safe for human and animal consumption and do not pose unreasonable risks of harm and health to the environment. And you're like, well, hey, that's what they're supposed to do. The EPA, the FDA, the USDA, they're all protecting us, right? That's awesome. That's wrong. <laughs> 
Okay, it's absolutely wrong. They're not protecting us from anything. And that one statement that says uh, EPA regulates pesticides, including those bioengineered into foods. They're putting this in the seed. The Monsanto corn seed is classified by the EPA as a pesticide. That should make people think. The seed, a natural corn seed, all natural, mother nature, is classified as a pesticide. And that's the difference here. It's different to have pesticides, herbicides on the outside, and you can wash it off before you eat it. But we're talking inside the seed. Now let me get to my point here of uh, where the EPA is regulating and everybody's trying to make sure it's safe and yada, da 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 it goes on here to say, in this publication, again, linked in the description, and this is where it gets scary. Okay, there's a lot of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> food and food ingredients derived from GE plants must adhere to the same safety requirements under the Federal Food and Drug and Cosmetic Act that apply to food and food ingredients derived, der derived from traditionally bread plants. FDA encourages developers of gen genetically engineered plants to consult with the agency before marketing their products, although the consultation is voluntary. <laughs> okay, That's where it gets scary. That's when you know this is, whole system is corrupt. Um, yeah, to ensure their safety. Uh, Keefe, which is, he's one of the big wigs there at the FDA, Keefe uh, says developers find it helpful in determining the steps necessary to ensure that food products made from their plants are safe and otherwise lawful if they submit to the voluntary consultation. Are you freaking kidding me? The developer produces a safety assessment, okay? Now, if you have any doubts about GMO safety, it, this is right from the FDA guidelines. The developer produces a safety assessment, which includes the identification of distinguishing attributes of new genetic traits, whether any new material in food from the GE plant could be toxic, allergenic when eaten, and a comparison of level of nutrients in the GE plant to traditionally bred plants. It's left up to, it's left up to companies like Monsanto, Dow, and DuPont to produce their own safety assessment. What the hell is wrong with this, the FDA and our government? We're going to leave it up to the company making it to tell us it's safe. And these people, here's the great thing, these people are the people that brought us Agent Orange which we poisoned Vietnam and we poisoned our own soldiers with. These are the people who brought us DDT, which is now linked as a definite 100% cancer-causing agent, all right? In the town where I live, they're scraping DDT off the land so they can build on it because it's polluted with it from the apple orchards. These are the people that brought us PCBs, all this toxic crap. DuPont, Dow, Bayer, Monsanto. And we're going to let, the FDA says, and it says right here, and I quote, and you can read it, click the link. The developer produces a safety assessment. <laughs> okay, and it just goes on and on and on. It's a good read, but right there should tell you that something is very, very wrong. Now, uh, quickly here. In 2012, according to the USDA, Cotton, corn, soybeans were the most common genetically engineered crop in the U.S. Uh, GE cotton accounted for 94% of all cotton planted. Uh, genetically engineered soybeans accounted for 93% of soybeans planted. And genetically engineered corn, 88% of corn planted in the United States is genetically engineered. Okay? And they're, they're engineering this corn to be... Uh, create its own pesticide and to be herbicide resistant or they call it Roundup Ready, okay? 
most people know. Roundup, you buy that, you spray on your weeds out in your uh, shrubs and stuff, and your landscape and kills the weeds. They engineered this corn so they can spray that stuff directly on your food. Okay? On your food. Not only does the plant produce an internal pesticide that you're eating, it's getting into your body, and it's been proven it's getting into your DNA sequence, but then they spray the piss out of it with this Roundup. And you know what happens? The weeds at the Roundup supposed to kill in these massive cornfields are now becoming super weeds. Roundup's not affecting them, so they have to spray some other chemical. That didn't work. Spray another chemical. They keep spraying more chemicals, more chemicals. That's going into your food, and then it's on your soil, which is washing into your rivers, which is washing into your ocean. So they can say all they want about genetically engineered crops. They ain't nothing but toxic crap. It's classified as a pesticide, and you're eating it. Organic. USDA 100% organic. Do that. Avoid eating this and take a stand. Uh, now, anyways, back to this. And this is kind of, my, <laughs> kind of one of the many points in this video. Most genetically engineered crops, and again, this is uh, according to the FDA, most genetically engineered crops are used as sources of food ingredients and as sources of animal feed, says Dennis Keefe, Ph.D. Director of FDA's Office of Food Additive Safety. Corn, soybean, and cotton plants genetically engineered to ward off pests or to tolerate herbicides are used extensively to produce food ingredients such as cornstarch, corn syrup, cottonseed oil, soybean oil. In other words, all that processed crap that is in the grocery store is where this stuff goes. But they don't want it labeled because they don't want you to question it. And that is just absolutely wrong. Wrong, wrong. And um, Mr. Dennis Keefe goes on to say, A few plants, <laughs> a few, <laughs> have been engineered for nutritional traits. Because not only are there uh, GMO corn, there's also GMO papaya, there's GMO zucchini, there's GMO sweet corn, uh, there's GMO squash, and I think that's about it. There might be a plum that has been genetically modified. But again, this is a corn that produces an internal pesticide and is resistant to herbicide, which is disgusting. Now this one, Dow, September 9th, 2011. And, and this old one I've been reading off was updated on May 15th, 2013. 2011, Dow uh, sent something into the FDA where they want to introduce uh, AAD-12 into corn. And why they want to put that in there? They want the intended effect is a tolerance to resist 2 comma 4 dash D. I can't even pronounce what that stuff is called. But 2 comma 4 dash D is a, uh, an ingredient that they used in Agent Orange in Vietnam, which we know is toxic, causes cancer, causes your liver to fail, causes all kinds of freaking health problems. But here's Dow Chemical going, hey, <laughs> we need to spray 2 4 D on the crops now because nothing else is working because we've already ruined these farmers land and not only that these poor farmers they can't keep the seeds because it's patented by Monsanto it's patented by Dow they have to buy the Roundup they have to buy all this crap they have to buy all this glyphosate stuff they're trapped once they get in it now last thing I wanted to talk about is as I stated earlier in the FDA's report, all this is used for commodity ingredients such as corn, corn, soybean, canola, right? Everybody's like, ooh, canola oil, it's so safe. No, it's not. It's genetically modified. It's killing you, okay? You want safe oil to put on uh, using your cooking? Use olive oil or use um, coconut oil, okay? That's it. Vegetable oil is crap. Canola oil is crap. It's toxic crap. It's killing you. That's why we're so unhealthy. America, we are fat unhealthy, sick, and dying from eating this crap. Here's a list of ingredients. These are invisible ingredients. This is from the non-GMO shopping guide. This is not an official 100% that's a GMO ingredient, but it is a pretty good list. It's linked in there. I'm gonna pull up a few to blow your mind. First one is aspartame. You should never eat aspartame. You should never eat any fake sweetener. Okay, period. Caramel color, canola oil, rapeseed oil, uh, citric acid, uh, vitamin B12, condensed milk, con confectioner's sugar, corn flour, corn masa, corn meal, corn oil, corn sugar, corn syrup, corn starch, cottonseed oil, 
uh, dextrose, equal, food starch, fructose. It just goes on and on and on. Whey, whey powder, vitamin E, vitamin B12, vegetable oil, vegetable fat, triglycerides, malt, malt syrup, malt extract, maltodextrin. You get the point? You can't avoid this stuff unless you eat 100% USDA organic or grow it yourself. And that's what I'm telling people right now. That's what we're doing. We're eating organic. We're trying to urban garden as best we can in a townhouse. Grow our own. Buy local. Buy local meat. Buy local USDA certified organic vegetables and foods. And avoid this crap. It's killing you. Stay out of the processed food. Processed chips. Frozen food. Little Debbie cakes. All that crap is killing us. And it's right here. Proof is right here <laughs> from the FDA's website. So, genetically modified foods, there's so much controversy about it. But when it comes down to it, their money is buying off our politicians to process this stuff through, to turn a blind eye, to hurt the health, the well-being. And the other thing, the last thing is, why would Bayer, a pharmaceutical company, be making genetically modified seeds? That... That raises a little bit of uh, alarm there, doesn't it? A pharmaceutical company is creating genetically modified seeds. Hmm. Maybe to make you sicker, so you need to take more Bayer pharmaceutical products? I mean, give me a break. I don't care who you are, what scientist you are. If you can sit there and say GMOs are safe and you have scientific proof, I'm going to call bullshit, and I guarantee you, you're backed by grants from Monsanto, Dow, DuPont of these other freaking evil companies. So do yourself a favor. Make your dollars do the talking for you. You don't have to start a petition. You don't have to start a drive. You don't have to start lobbying Congress. You don't have to start getting Senate bills started. Make your dollars count at the grocery store and don't buy processed food. Healthy, fresh meats, vegetables, fruits. That's all you need. You don't need Doritos. You don't need Cheetos. You don't need frozen pies. Buy healthy stuff. Be healthy. Break the cycle. And let your dollars tell these companies and our government, we don't want to eat this crap anymore.